All right, guys, if you are wondering what the Race Me Ultra or MM3 Power uh, EGT sensor circuit board looks like, this is it. So you can see here, this is where the Race Me EGT probe or MM3 probe plugs in here, screws down. And then this is the housing that it's contained in, so we kind of mangled it. We got another box here from uh, Amazon that we're going to utilize. <clears throat> right here. So we're just going to stick it in here, utilizing some of this one to one electronic potting and encapsulating compound. This is black, uh, so it should look just like this stuff here. So this stuff is pretty hard, but when you heat it up, uh, the only reason this is mangled is we had to heat it up and then like pretty much pry it out. Um, but when you heat this stuff up, it gets to be like a rubbery compound and then you can just pull a board right out of there if you so choose. But uh, regardless, <clears throat> you've got these pins here, which none of them are really marked. Um, I think I had... So I had to order a new, it's a micro JST, because mine got ripped out, but micro JST connector here off of Amazon. And colors are a little different, so we had to match those up based off a of pin, but white goes to green, red to red, green to yellow, and black to black. And that's the connector connector has green, yellow, black, red, and then the original harness has white, red, green, black. And you can see right here on the board exactly where all those go to. All right, so I got these soldered back together, tin the wires first, and then soldered them all back to the uh, appropriate connections. 